Say my trip, So, are you outraged by what happened Friday? Very much so. Show me the catch. And we will. Yes, I know. I I think it's an incredible show of support from leaders all over the city that the community needs to be protected, that we won't accept bias crimes in any form, and that we're going to fight against them. And this is a, it's a somber moment, too, given the anniversary uh, of Crystal Knot. And I think it's a call to arms. We all have to be vigilant against bias crimes. What's the message you want to send to the people that did this act? Uh, well, I, you know, as I said, I'm here today because hate doesn't have neat boundaries. Uh, so if they come from one person today, they come from somebody else tomorrow. Uh, and I'm not gonna wait for them to come for anybody else. So we're just gonna stand up in unity and let people know uh, it's not funny, uh, it's not a game, it's something to be taken very seriously. And the whole community's gonna do that, the entire community. Not just the one through the front Thank you. Are you, are you surprised that the mayor has not come uh, to, uh, to Midwood to show solidarity? I, I think he should. I think it's important. I think people want to know they're supported and that they're being protected. I think it's your job. Um, this is an important day. The community is coming together to show solidarity. Uh, this is a despicable act in uh, the heart of uh, a great neighborhood. And uh, if anything, this will unite the community and make them more focused and, and uh, aware and uh, all to bring people together convinced the police are doing everything they can. They've picked up all the forensic evidence. Um, they're doing fingerprints, DNA. Uh, I'm sure the perps here, this is not the first thing they ever did, so uh, there may be some records in there. Uh, I'm very confident in the NYPD cracking this and doing it quickly. Well, I think like everyone else, I'm appalled. This, this should not uh, happen here. This is New York City, the melting pot of the world. Uh, we're the most diverse community in the world. We need to uh, understand one another, help one another, uh, live with one another. When a thing like this happens, this is, rips the very fabric of this uh, society and it's an outrage and uh, everyone should be very concerned. Um, I, I think there's uh, determination and uh, a desire to be uh, together and uh, stand firm. It's a pretty tough crowd. They're, they're good people. They'll react great. I want to say that to uh, Senator Adams, to Dub Hikins, Councilmember Greenfield, all the elected officials who are here today, I want to thank them for mobilizing the community. I just want to say two things. One, uh, as somebody who happens to be Jewish, this is obviously assault, an assault on our people. But even more important, it's an assault on human decency. Wherever you come from, people have to recognize that SWAT sticker is a symbol of gross hatred. Any word that says KKK is a symbol of terrible hatred. And we are here today to assure the community, both in Brooklyn and around the city, that this will never be tolerated. This conduct will never be, ever, ever be accepted. And we are going to do everything in our power to make sure that the people who did this will spend a very long time in jail. They do not get a break. They do not have an excuse. What they have attempted to do is terrorize a community, and I find that to be horrific and unacceptable. And today, we come together as one city to renounce this kind of bigotry and hatred. It is totally unacceptable, and I'm proud to be here with elected officials, and Dove and Bill and everybody, who recognizes that we will never, never, never allow this to go on. You know, we're all here today. It's the assemblymen, Scott Stringer, I know Senator Adams is about to be here. We're all standing to send the message that we are one people. We're not going to allow these acts of anti-Semitism, of hate, to go unchallenged. You know, the thing that is even worse at times is that people don't raise their voices when something like this occurs. We're raising our voices. We're standing together. We're saying, not in Brooklyn, not here, and not in our city. It's not just an attack on the Jewish people. This is an attack on human decency. These bigots who've come to this neighborhood on the anniversary of Kristallnacht and attack the Jewish faith in this way is just totally unacceptable. We're going to cuff, 
and imprison these bigots. We're going to make sure that they do the time because, after all, this is not something that will ever be tolerated, whether it's in Brooklyn or a SWAT sticker in Queens. This is not something that we as citizens will tolerate. And I'm here today to show my support for the people of Brooklyn, for the people of Queens throughout the whole city, because we have drawn the line in the sand. We will never, ever allow this to go unanswered. How unfortunate is this that we have to do this on a Sunday morning? It's, it's, it's unfortunate. And it's a close guy. But it, but it says a lot about our community that we're not going to tolerate hate. And I think that's the message. And any morning we will rise up early enough to symbolize that we're stronger as a people when we voice our outrage and our support for all communities. This is a symbol of hate. This is a symbol of what swastikas represent. This is a symbol of what the Klansmen represent. This is a symbol that is part of our dark history that is not going to find a way in our future. And that's what Dove, myself, and the other electors here, and Norman are, are saying. That if it's a car burnt on Ocean Parkway or a cross burnt on the lawn of an African American, that part of our dark history is not going to find its way in our future. We are united today. We are united by saying that hate has no room in our country. Hate has no room in our state. And we're saying that we are not afraid. And I'm happy to say that the Jewish community in this area stated they are not afraid. We are not afraid. The cowards and bigots that hid behind these hoods for many years are not going to be able to hide behind modern day hoods. We are going to reveal them with thorough investigations by the New York City Police Department. We're going to have severe hate crime laws. The darkest part of hell are reserved for people who commit crimes based on hatred and bigotry. Our message is loud and clear on Ocean Parkway and we want it to resonate throughout all the parkways in the state of New York. We will not accept hate in our community. We will not accept hate in our community. So this hood the swat stickers, the burning of crosses, and all of those hate signs, they have no room in the life that we're going to teach our children and our children's children. So I commend all of you who come out today and all of the elected officials. We are united on this issue. Bigotry and hatred will no longer be able to hide behind a hood. We will rebuild that hatred and ensure that our strongest laws will punish those who are responsible for it. Thank you. I had the honor a few years ago of introducing a piece of legislation which made the painting of a swastika or the burning of a cross vandalizing property for the purpose of intimidation and e-felony. We are going to speak out. We are demanding justice. We will not allow these evil, hateful people to get away to intimidate anyone of goodwill. Goodwill people of all over this country must speak out and learn from the lesson of history. And this is an excellent beginning of doing that, and we will continue it until they are brought to justice. I just came down from Williamsburg where on Friday a young man was assaulted in the, in the South Waynesburg section. And um, this is very concerning to me. This is uh, uh, one in a string of, of, uh, of assaults that have happened to that neighborhood. And in addition to what's happening down in this neighborhood, it's, it's important that we stand up as a city and as a society and say that there's no place for this. It's only a matter of degrees between, before a verbal assault turns into a physical assault, before a physical assault turns into an aggravated assault, before an aggravated assault turns into something much, much worse. Daily news story. There was a person who said that what happened here Friday could be tied to Occupy Wall Street because of signs. And let's be tolerant. And we have OWS who issued a statement, and we have someone here uh, who will speak for OWS. Hi, uh, my name is Melanie Gold. Uh, I happen to be Jewish and Russian. My parents brought, here, brought me here when I was 11 from the Ukraine. Um, I just want to say on behalf of everyone at OWS, on behalf of everyone at OWS, that this is deplorable. It has absolutely nothing to do with any message we could possibly ever agree with. It is the exact opposite of what we are trying to do. We are working against a culture of com competition 
and trying to promote it to be a culture of cooperation amongst everyone. The reason we say 99% is because we feel pretty much everyone belongs with the message that we're trying to disseminate. And, um, and that message really ultimately is against any kind of competition of any sort and really we're wanting to embrace everyone and move forward in a new culture and a new paradigm of cooperation and working together as all people in humanity. Are you surprised that the mayor has, has not come here in person? Well, you know, I, I hope he will. I wish he, I'm sorry he's not here today. I hope, you know, the mayor stands up strongly against anti-Semitism. We don't always agree on everything, but obviously uh, he's a, a profound fighter of anti-Semitism and a supporter of this community. So I hope he'll come out uh, to the community and stand with us together. But he's got the police out here working very hard to catch this guy, and uh, he's been this point. I don't know what his schedule is. It would have been nice for him to be here. I don't want to make any comments until I find out, but it would have been nice for him to be here. Things are important.